Roku Premiere Premiere and Review Roku's mid-level 4K HDR streamer makes a triumphant return. When it comes to streaming players, Roku is a household name. From blisteringly cheap budget players like the Roku Express to the uber-powerful Roku Ultra, there's something for everyone. In the middle of the pack is the Roku Premiere and Roku Premiere Plus, two new players that came out in 2018 that offer powerful 4K playback at a value price. Roku Premiere at Amazon for $74.95 They're a happy medium between the top and bottom of Roku's lineup, and while they have a few issues that prevent them from becoming the best streaming players on the planet, they're a darn good value all things considered. Price and Availability The biggest strength of the Roku Premiere and Premiere Plus, and the real draw for most folks, is their price tag. You can buy a Roku Premiere for $39.99 when it's not on sale, and often below that if you're shopping during Black Friday or Cyber Monday. The Roku Premiere Plus, on the other hand, will only set you back $10 more and costs just $49.99 but, due to retailer exclusivity, you'll need to go to a Walmart or head over to walmart.com to pick one up. It's also worth pointing out here that unlike the entry-level Roku Express and top-tier Roku Ultra, Roku has not yet made these mid-range players available internationally. For now at least they can only be found the USA. Design Regardless of which streaming player you pick, you won't find yourself hoisting a massive set-top box onto your media center the Roku Premiere is roughly the size of a streaming stick or an oversized pack of gum depending on what shape you're more familiar with. Design-wise, it's a petite, crescent-shaped player with rounded edges and stands a few inches wide, an inch and a half tall and an inch and a half deep. That said, despite sharing the same exterior as the Roku Express, the Premiere is still a more powerful player. We'll cover exactly what it can do in just a second but you can expect 4K HDR support the same as the Roku Ultra. The differences between the Roku Premiere and Roku Premiere and are relatively minor in the grand scheme of things, they have the same form factor, the same processor and the same performance, but one has an IR remote while the other uses Bluetooth. To that end, the Roku Premiere and doesn't need a direct line of sight from the remote to the player, and offers both power and volume buttons that can control your TV through HDMI CEC and comes with a microphone built in. The Roku Premiere on the other hand, uses a standard IR remote without voice support, which is a bit of a disappointment. In terms of connections along the back of the player there's not much to talk about the Roku Premiere only has ports for power and HDMI. Don't have an HDMI cable laying around the house? No worries. Roku supplies one in the box, though, unfortunately it's not very long. If your entertainment cabinet is big or you don't want to keep the player right next to the TV, you're going to need to get something a bit longer. Features <laughs>